Today, U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton met with Burmese opposition leader Aung San Suu Kyi in Yangon. Human rights groups hope Clinton's talks with leaders from the military-backed civilian government of Myanmar, also known as Burma, will lead to an end of rights abuses against the country's ethnic communities and free political prisoners. This week, FSRN is taking a close look at human rights in the country. Yesterday, we explored the situation for the Rohingya people, a persecuted Muslim group in western Myanmar. Today, we focus on the Kachin people in the north. As Ron Corbin reports, recent accounts of ongoing attacks have come out, even as President Tien Sen talks of political reform in his country. The last trip to Myanmar by a U.S. Secretary of State was more than 50 years ago. Rights groups, including the U.S.-based Campaign for Burma, are using Hillary Clinton's trip to press for further political reforms in the long military-controlled nation. The group acknowledged recent reforms but warned they could be easily reversed at any time. On Thursday, Hillary Clinton held talks with senior Myanmar government leaders, including reformist President Tian Xin and pro-democracy leader Aung San Suu Kyi. Tian Xin's government has released several hundred political prisoners, but rights groups hope Clinton has pressed for the release of all 1,200 remaining prisoners of conscience, as well as dialogue with the democratic opposition and representatives of ethnic minorities. Carl Thayer, a political scientist at Australia's University of New South Wales, says the visit comes soon after the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, or ASEAN, back to Myanmar to chair the group's meetings in 2014. Uh, it's a positive step, and, it's, and, and it, <laughs> if Clinton didn't go, then it raises the possibility that there could be a problem between ASEAN and the U.S., because ASEAN satisfied that Myanmar has met the minimum requirements and includes it and now is scheduled it as a chair. Mm. She'll set conditions, but in other words, the real question is how far does Myanmar have to go before the rest of the world or the United States begins to see that it's a moment of opportunity? So, so I think the U.S. has. That's why she's going. Mm. Uh, other countries are already shifting ground. Ongoing violence against ethnic minorities remains a key issue for human rights groups. A report this week pointed to ongoing attacks against the ethnic Kachin people in northeastern Myanmar. The Kachin and the Kachin Independence Army, KIA, has been fighting the central government for greater autonomy over several decades. A ceasefire pact had been in place but broke down with the recent fighting. The report by the U.S.-based Partners Relief and Development documented attacks on villages largely populated by women as recently as October. Ryan Erickson is co-author of the report and says the Myanmar army has been carrying out attacks that are potential war crimes against civilians. These acts include torture, extrajudicial killing, the specific targeting of civilians, human shielding, unlawful arrest, unlawful detention, forced labor, forced relocation, displacement, property theft, and property destruction. The report is one of several highlighting attacks on ethnic communities. Several sources, including Kachin, spoke of the Myanmar army's use of forms of chemical weapons or yellow rain against communities that triggered nausea and vomiting. Otni Gumar, a co-founder of the relief group, says they have also received reports of attacks on other communities. Well, uh, most of our reports right now are coming from Kachin State. Um, as you all know, if you know about Burma, the same kind of things have been happening in, in Karen State and in Sham State. And uh, as these things are happening in Kachin State, we're also getting similar reports from Northern Sham State. Guma says the ongoing abuses are issues she wants to be seen taken up by the U.S. Secretary of State. Yeah, definitely. I, I mean, I would, I, I would want Hillary Clinton to bring this up as she's meeting with the leaders in Burma. Those forced from their homes and now internally displaced faced increasing challenges. Their main occupation right now is to try to stay alive and to try to find food and to try to stay warm and dry as they are living in the, in the, in the temporary camps. Myanmar authorities have acknowledged attacks on ethnic minorities but claim the violence is not systematic. 
The Human Rights Report also coincides with reported talks between Kachin leaders and the Myanmar army in southern China this week, seen as a key move to return the region to peace and ongoing ceasefire talks. Ron Corbin, FSRN, Bangkok.